All right, in this video, we're working on the 5.3 engine for the Chevelle Turbo LS. And what we're gonna be doing is reinstalling the rear cover, the rear main seal. You need a special tool to align it and also the barbell. So just a super quick video on showing how that is installed. Okay, let's remove this seal. There's three little cutouts here and I believe they're for a screwdriver. So just go ahead and dig your screwdriver in there and try to pry it out. Oh, it's coming a little bit. There we go. All right, we're getting somewhere. There we go. All right, so I vapor blasted this and you can see I need to touch it up. So I'll put it back in the machine, clean all this out. So that way when we put our new one in, it'll be good to go. Okay, so here we are at the back of the block. The engine is upside down and time to install the barbell or oil diverter and the rear main seal and the cover and whatnot. Now, if you haven't seen the video on me removing this cover and the barbell, uh, I'll throw the link in the upper right. It's in my bottom end disassembly video. Okay, so this is a brand new barbell. I put a little oil on the O-ring and I'll just go ahead and we'll give that a little tap. All right, that guy's seated. Okay, now there's a special tool that you can buy that aligns the cover bore to the crank diameter, okay? Because see here, you want these two holes to be concentric, okay? So what I did is I didn't feel like spending 50 bucks on a tool, so um, months ago I bought a 3D printer. So I quickly drew this up in CAD and printed it. Okay, and I had to lightly sand the inside and the outside so I get a nice fit in here so you can see that. It's a nice fit, no, no slop. And then it also fits here nice and tight. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna remove this after I get this all together, but in any case, this will locate the cover, I think, just fine, okay? What's crazy is, you know, we have 3D printers at work that cost a lot of money. Um, this thing was 300 bucks, and it's not even the cheapest one, and it works great. I've been printing all kinds of stuff, which is cool. So if you ever thought about getting into it, now's a really good time because they're, they're actually really cheap and they're easy to use. Okay, so we have a brand new gasket. Go ahead and line this up, and I'll use a couple bolts in here, and we'll just get it started. Okay, so we got three bolts and as you can see, it's kind of loosey-goosey, right? So here we go. Let's jam this guy in here. Okay, so right now it's concentric, right? But it can rock back and forth here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a level across here on the block. Make sure it rests on the block. And I'm just gonna try to level it out as best as possible. And it's pretty much right there. I mean, I can't, you know, I was gonna take, I mean, I was gonna take a feeler gauge and put it under there, but man, that is like in line with the block right there, okay? So no issues there. So let's wrap these bolts in semi-tight and then we can remove this guy. All right, so we're looking good. Let me just. Yeah, I mean, that looks great. So let's go ahead and tighten these a little bit. 
and it's still looking really good. So I'll go ahead and put the rest in, you know, just semi-tight. We will torque them. Okay, now to get my fancy tool out. I hope it comes out easy. So there's pry points on the cover here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use them and try to work this guy out. Yeah, it's coming. There it goes. All right, that looks really good. And then there's two tangs on the cover. Just make sure it's not touching the crank and it's not. Okay, here's our new seal. By the way, I'll put a link for the barbell and the gasket in the video description uh, below. Anyway, on this uh, seal, the instructions say this side out. So right here, there's print here, this side out, okay? And they recommend to install this dry and there's grease on the ins inside here. So all we have to do push this guy on like so and what I'll do is I'll use my tool again and I'll hit it with a block of wood okay it looks like it needs to go in a little more right there That guy is fully seated and it looks like it's sticking out or it's sub flush about the same all the way around. So that's looking really good. All right, now let's just uh, now let's just rotate the crank, make sure all the seal lips look good. Yeah, all right, that looks really good. Now we can uh, torque all the bolts. Okay, now we need to torque all these to 18 foot-pounds, and I'm using my new Eastwood 3.8 micrometer torque wrench. So I'll leave a link in the video description and an iCard in the upper right. These are some new torque wrenches that uh, Eastwood has sent me. I have four of them in all different sizes. They're really nice. All right, that's it. Job's done, 3D printed part for the win. All right guys, well that's it for this video. 3D printer for the win, for sure, man. So I would highly recommend buying one just to play around with. They're pretty cool uh, little machines there, little toys. All right, so make to, sure to check out the rest of the playlist that'll be in the upper right on the whole Chevelle Turbo LS build.